I'm Ken Dunn, I'm the chef at the High Point Sky Lounge, and it's fall. It's great pumpkin season. Now, a lot of people find a whole pumpkin a little bit intimidating. There, there's also some old wives' tales that kind of perpetuate that. If you see this little pumpkin here, that's called a pie pumpkin. And some people think that it's just because uh, that pumpkin is sweeter or uh, better for pies. If you go into uh, the old L.L. Bean cookbook, uh, they will straight out tell you, a pumpkin is a pumpkin is a pumpkin. So the reason that's called a pie pumpkin is because it's about the size to get the two cups of pumpkin that you need to make your uh, pumpkin pie. So I've got a medium sized pumpkin here that I've already uh, cut open. If you have a big spoon or some sort, or a measuring cup, something like that. You want to just kind of scrape down until the meat is uh, starting to get pulled away from the seeds. What we're going to use for a crust today, you can use any crust you want. If you've got your favorite crust that you make, uh, then no problem. We're just going to use a standard store-bought crust. What we want to do is cut up this half the orb and I'm just kind of going in around the stem because the stem has a lot of coarse things uh, underneath it. So all I did yesterday was take and cut the pumpkin up. And this is a good overnight project. Uh, the ones that I did last yesterday, I started them in the evening about five o'clock and they ended this morning. Uh, just holding warm. So here you've got a crock pot all set, ready to go. So you'd have enough for probably three pies. So when we finish with uh, the cooking process, what we get is we get the cooked pumpkin. I just take a big spoon and I go underneath the meat and you don't want to go too close. Uh, you don't want to get uh, pieces of skin into it. Now as you can see here we've got uh, uh, the pumpkin is getting uh, very nicely pureed. So what we're wanting to have is we're wanting to have uh, two cups of uh, the pumpkin uh, mix and if you notice it it is a little bit looser than uh, when you normally pumpkin out of a can, you have to kind of spoon it out. We have one and a half cups of evaporated milk. One and a half cups is exactly one can. Okay, I'm using brown sugar and I'm using dark brown sugar. And the reason for that, it just gives a little bit more of a rich uh, taste. Then we're going to use our uh, pumpkin pie spice, but I use four heaping teaspoons and uh, so it has four eggs in it you want to fill this up as high as possible but you don't want to have the filling get slopped over the edge that will cook first it'll turn blackish and uh, it just won't uh, look wonderful I'm gonna put this in the oven and we'll come back and we will show you the finished product. Chef Ken Dunn, holiday time pumpkin pie that you have prepared from scratch. Absolutely. Can. No cans. <laughs> no cans. You know, we want to remind folks that uh, uh, we are open uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday right now uh, uh, for dinner. Uh, we open at four, close at uh, around 10. Uh, plus, uh, this is holiday party time. Uh, we will do your custom holiday party. Um, anywhere, anytime, uh, where it doesn't have to just be on the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, we've got our wonderful bar here, and uh, we can seat uh, right around 100 people. So uh, no matter what size your office might be, uh, whatever uh, your needs might be for your family, uh, we'd be happy to help you out with it. And if you're having a holiday party in which you like to have pumpkin pie, this is what you're gonna call get. Call us. <laughs> Give a call. Well, let's give it a taste, Chef, and 
Get a little cool whip. Mmm. Got that perfect pumpkin taste. A texture that uh, is mm -hmm. much stronger than what you would get out of a can. Absolutely. So we invite you to stop in here at the High Point, as we said, Thursday through Saturday nights. And of course, set up your Christmas party, your holiday party, your business party right here at the High Point.